This map is not my friend. <clears throat> what extremely crazy mash that was. Were you in it? Disoriented there. The bill. Haha, <laughs> you saved yourself. You're like, I'm out of here. Yeah, you had me going a little bit there. Like, I was kind of undecided about chasing you or dropping chase for the gen because I knew the gen was going to pop. And then she just did the gen right in front of my face. This one. Wow, they just popped two gins just like that. Let's put him up on the hill. Oh, get up here. Stop it. We got that gin. This one, and that one. Do your jumping jacks, buddy. We're gonna hang out here for a minute. Snap, crackle pop. We need to put him back up on this hook so we can get gen regression before they pop another one. Oh, you're going right to the gen without healing, okay. Oh, hi there. Alright, let's get you dead hard out of the way. That's gonna work, buddy.
Saved already, huh? She's just going right on the gen, right near the hook. Injured and all. That's how bad she wants a... Game had me under a lot of pressure to buy time. Oh, you did well. Feels like we have this under control, but you know, things can change rather quickly. <laughs> this map isn't too bad for us. I I'm not used to the rework. I tend to get rolled on this map now. Against good teams. Where'd this guy just go? In the locker? Good job, Slick. It's like a small time to get used to it. Um, I never typically seem to find a 3 gen on this map. But there kind of is one now. If they didn't just break it. I mean, kind of here in the middle. Somewhat right here. This one. This one. And that one straight ahead. And once they play all spread out... There's not much you can do... ...to counter it. But I don't think this was a swift. I think these are solo queue, because they're not that coordinated. <laughs> the middle is usually on this rework map. <clears throat> now a 3 gen. Were you guys solo? <clears throat> yeah, these guys are a lot easier to uh, down. Oh, you get more in the cement. Yeah, in the last game, you were the only one really giving me a challenge. I think the Jill did a little bit at times. But... I remember when I first saw you, you were in the gen out there, but you just made so much distance, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even bothering with that chase. Hello there. Oh, come on. That would have been beautiful. Poor Blink. Just didn't connect. You want four Blink Nurse? You ready for four Blink Nurse?
They're phenomenal nurse that didn't need to tunnel. Did I tunnel though? <laughs> oh, I, th I didn't even realize he was dead. It didn't give me the Mori option. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do tunnel, but it's... Oh, hello. But it's usually when it's like a real sweaty swift that... Like, I know if I don't try to get somebody out as soon as possible, they're all gonna be teabagging me at the gate. Oh, but most nurses I play against usually tell me, yeah. It's, you know, everyone's, everyone's like, oh, she's the easiest, or the best killer in the game, you don't need to tunnel, but when you get to a high MMR, the teams are so good, and they do the generators so fast. And then they, like, they all have dead heart, and they all take hits for each other, and the way they play is just crazy. And it almost makes you, kind of like forces you to tunnel in a way. Gotcha. Tried to gate tech me. She tried to gate tech me. If you didn't try to do that, you know. Oh, she's not moriable. You know, I understand I'm not how you feel about tunneling sometimes when you really force the tunnel. Darn. Oh, um... I don't know, because tunneling doesn't always work, actually. But it's like when the, the Swift is like popping off all the gens in like three and a half minutes and you've only hooked one person, it's like, who are you gonna go for, a fresh one? Or the injured one that's like, running right by? So, I don't know, it's like... It's hard to do it tastefully, but at the same time... You, you don't have to be tasteful because... Because the... The sweaty swifts are not like they're not holding back it's, they're not like okay well i'm not gonna use dead hard or i'm not gonna use prove thyself or i'm not gonna like some of the teams i go against are like uh boil over breakout flashlights sabotaging the hooks body blocking like some of these teams i can't even get them on a hook so they're not holding back so why should the killer hold back? If you sit there and you try to hook those people 12 times, you're just, you're not going to get it. But it's hard to tell like what team you're going against. So it's like, I don't want to just start off tunneling. But, you know, it's like, I tend to like... If I'm just playing chill and I'm not really like trying to be sweaty and the next thing I know they pop all the gens, they're teabagging me and they're telling me I'm trash in the end game. I'm like, but I didn't ton of you and I let you live like I downed you and I gave you another chance and they're like, yeah, right. Sure. Sure you did. And then you go in and so then you get a game like that and you're like, oh, these little cockroaches are nasty. So you go into your next game and you just like go all out and slug them and play full force and then you find out they're just like a bunch of solo queue potatoes that uh <laughs> you know didn't really deserve to be slaughtered like that so you don't really know who you're going against <coughs> like that team I went in thinking uh 
I don't do good on that map. At least not since the update. I've ha I've been having trouble on that map. And so I went in there and I'm like, okay, I got the first. They popped, I think they popped two gens, right? Uh, real fast. And then I put the one guy on the hook and I'm like, well, there's kind of a three gen here. The guy's on a hook on a hill. What else should I do besides chill up here and let them come to me? Like, why am I going to go to the other side of the map chasing somebody that I don't even know where they are just so they can get a free unhook reset and get back on the gens? You know, the whole thing's a game of pressure. And it's just who can pressure the other one more. The killer has to put a lot of pressure by getting hooks and downs. And sometimes that requires proxy camping and guarding a three gen and using meta perks. And the same way the survivors are pressuring the killer by cranking out the generators with all, you know, their perks and goodies. And then, you know, as soon as you down, you hit one of them, right? You chase one of them, you finally hit them, and they're like, okay, I got a hit, you chase them again, you you go to hit them again, but all of a sudden they dead hard that hit, they get a speed boost, you chase them again, now the other survivor crosses their scratch marks with them, they cross paths, and they hide, and now you're chasing a fully healthy survivor, you hit them, you know, and then you hit them again, but they dead hard it, and it's like you sat there and you just got four hits and you never downed anybody, meanwhile, two other people are just cranking out generators. So it's kind of, it can be kind of rough against those teams that are like that.